All right, so just filled up with some 93 octane. Pretty stoked about that. Um, here I am with uh, the Dork uh, GoPro helmet thingy. Well, not helmet, rather, but the... Uh, I should probably jack my seat down a little bit so you guys can actually see better, but... With the uh, GoPro head-mounted uh, harness thingy here. Um, which I get a lot of goofy-ass looks for. Which who can blame them? I look hilarious. There we go. Let's try to get the seat down a little bit so you can see. It's a little better. I was going to take these roundabouts a little more aggressive, but... There's a school bus in front of me, so not a whole lot I can do. But uh, yeah, Focus RS, what a great car. Um, really like it. Um, fantastic acceleration, 0 to 60 in 4.6. Um, I would say fives for a normal person who's just driving it around uh, without perfect conditions or brand new tires. Um, let's see what else. All right, here we go. I'll get you a little, a little second gear pull here up on the, on the ramp. It's just normal mode. Get some nice little backfires in there. Woo. And there we are, up to the cruising speed. Um, best thing about using these head-mounted GoPros is you can see what flaws you have with uh, looking over your shoulder or not paying attention and then uh, avoiding the distraction of watching yourself on your phone if it's linked up <laughs> but um yeah the power of this cop tuner really does add in quite a bit um, just on that pole going up the ramp there I'm pulling uh, according to my tuner which isn't necessarily to the wheels so I think it's to the crank but I don't know uh, but 385 torque and 393 horsepower which is pretty consistent with what the tuner usually displays um, I got my custom shift knob down here as you can see I've got the my little phone mount and my cop tuner mount. I just use a little, little generic stick on uh, Velcro magnetic mounts. So it's just about the little Velcro 3M pads. Stuck one on my dash, stuck one on the back of the little magnets, and then um, threw them on there. And actually, the one for my phone goes into your CD player. And since I never use CDs, I strictly use Spotify. I've, I've been using that and I really like it. Um, and it holds in there really well. I mean, if it, I bought it at Target for, I want to say, like 15, 20 bucks. Which I would say is a uh, fantastic deal for what you're getting. And um, yeah, I'm uh, spacing on what else to put just because I'm more focused on driving. Not more than usual, but normally I can just drive and then have the camera facing me. So this is a little different. Um, but with the Focus RS, it's got power up and down. I mean, at 70 miles an hour on the highway, you throw it in fourth gear and give it a little, a little pull, you will, um, you'll get the power to pass people. Uh, without a doubt, here I'll slow down to uh, to 60 here. I don't know if that's a cop behind me, but I'm gonna slow down to 60 anyway. Almost there. So let's do a little 60 to 70. So there's 60 and 70. So it's it's peppy, you know. Even up top, I mean, it's it's enough to get you where you're going with enough happiness. And if you want to go track it out and drive super aggressive, you know, you have that initiative. And if you want to around in it it's just as good for that so um, I can honestly say I'm incredibly pleased with this car and um, yeah I guess I don't have any quirks or anything to report on right now uh, one thing I, I noticed um, at the gas station was that uh, well I've noticed it a few times but the gas tank for this Focus RS is very small it's the same size as my Fiesta I believe I'd have to pop open the owner's manual to see what the exact size is but I'm say more than 12 gallons um, I've never put over 11 gallons in or I've never put more than 12 so 11 something with my gas laid on um, so it's a really small tank which in a car that gets 25 miles a gallon 20 if you drive it like me uh, your gas tank is sucked dry pretty fast so keep that in mind when you're uh, looking into this car the range isn't great but you're it's a focus RS you know there's plenty of places to stop for gas and it is hard to find 93 octane though in Minnesota, all we have for that option is the BP gas stations, and I hate BP uh, for multiple reasons. I was down in Mississippi when they had that big oil spill, and you couldn't go in the water the whole time I was there because it was so bad, and also because they're a terrible company, and I don't support them at all. So, except that I have to buy 93 octane because they're the only places within 
two hours of me that sell it. So I'm kind of locked in on that. Not a lot I can do, but that's my uh, quick and easy review of the Focus RS facing outwards. So uh, let me know if there's a different video you'd like me to take or some zero to 60 pulls or something better. Um, just let me know. Thanks. My puppy.